Another person wrote in and said, I just don't seem to be meeting anyone I want to date, I want to, that I really am attracted to. They're wondering if it's them, and they have fears that there's never going to meet somebody. Mm-hmm. This is Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. Kathy Vartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com. Reed, what do you suggest? Stop watching these videos and go meet some people. Socialize. Get out of the house. What are you doing? You're still watching. It can be, it can be really frustrating. <laughs> Thank you for staying and watching the video. That was the click-off point. Where yeah, everyone, everyone drops off. Because they went out and they socialized. Yes, but that can still be really frustrating when you're going out and you, you may be already socialized and you may go out and be going out and identifying people that seem nice but you're just not having any chemistry with. So I would recommend that you do what Reed suggests about finding out what, you in, what your intention is for a relationship. What is it that you want to get out of a relationship? And then also spend some time identifying what you think you would need to be attracted. Um, And also find out if it's safe. Imagine yourself being really attracted to someone and notice how your body feels. Are you all tense? Are you starting to imagine scenarios where they run off all with all your money or distract you from work so you never get anything done? If those are the cases, um, if there's a fear there, you could be purposely sabotaging or subconsciously sabotaging finding anyone you're interested in. Yeah, because finding people that you're interested in is going to start kicking up your fears and it, you're putting, you're going to get uh, diminishing um, returns on, on the focus that you're trying to put into those relationships. Yeah. So the other thing you can start looking at around, you know, just kind of consoling, consoling, consoling yourself um, is that you're not broken and there's 7 billion people on the planet. There's probably a couple of people in that seven billion that you're attracted to who are also nice people who are a good fit for you. And my recommendation comes at it a little bit sideways. And I've said this before in other videos and in workshops, make sure you're doing activities that are really fun and exciting for you. If dating, like the idea of meeting somebody for for coffee, going to dinner, is not your favorite thing, it's like the least favorite thing in the world, um, then don't have dates like that. Yeah. Go do activities that you know bring you joy, things that you're interested in. Like if going to the you know, musical events is, is the thing that really you know, makes you feel nourished and, and rejuvenated, then start narrowing your search for socializing to events that really turn you on And then there's probably a singles group or a meetup group that you can go to that has that kind of, you know, um, focus on activities. So one, you're doing things that are already going to replenish you and and get you excited. And two, you're doing them with other people who enjoy those activities too. And then source that network for people that you want to, you know, hang out with or date. And also consider that just because you meet somebody at an event and you're not interested in them, they might know somebody. So treat your, those communities as places where you can expand your social network and let people know, hey, I'm interested in dating somebody like this, mm-hmm. somebody who's into that. And then you'll never know who you might run into who knows the perfect person so that you're not just sitting at home clicking through online dating profiles feeling like there's nobody out there for you yeah and just a last thought if you start if part of you thinks that having a relationship is the only way forward and that's all of your focus it might be good like Reed said to start living your life and doing those things that you always plan to do with that perfect partner because you're going to start having a more exciting life anyway and you might meet that person Mm -hmm. that you really want to spend time with yeah that's my advice Leave your comments. Let us know how it goes. If anybody follows our advice and has some success stories, leave those comments too. Yes.